Well, hey, y'all. Thank you very much for taking time to call over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking Again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Sunday. So I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. Time for another one of my Sunday cooks. And what we're going to do tonight for y'all is just going to be something that's fast, simple, easy, and delicious. And what I'm actually going to do is be making some uh, some St. Louis-style ribs in my Elite Pressure Cooker here, guys. And it's going to take us less than an hour. And we're going to be utilizing some of these St. Louis-style ribs. And, guys, I, I'm, I'm getting addicted to this stuff. I'm here to tell you this. King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce is the stuff. And last time we did a recipe with a pork loin and we used the original and it's got like chunks of fruit in it, pineapple and stuff like that. And right there on the tail end of it, you, you pick up some heat, but not so overbearing heat that you, you know, you can't tolerate the food or uh, taste the food. You know, that's one thing about uh, hot sauces and hot spices to me. I want to be able to taste the food as well as the spice, not just a whole mouthful of spices, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think they have like four different flavors. And this tonight we're going to actually be utilizing the King Hawaiian barbecue sauce light roasted Kona coffee. And this should be wonderful. And guys, we're going to be basically uh, cooking it off in the Elite Pressure Cooker, cooking them off in the Elite Pressure Cooker with some apple juice. And that should infuse into the ribs themselves. Once we get our ribs done, I'm going to slap them underneath the broiler in the uh, oven here and barbecue sauce them, you know, get some sauce on them and barbecue them up real good. Uh, I think y'all guys are going to like this. And uh, I reckon, let me get busy here and we're going to get right back with you. All right, guys, we're ready to get started here. Uh, by no means did I do anything special. Uh, basically, I just took a little bit of black pepper and I lightly dusted the top of the pork ribs here. Along with that, we're gonna, we've got uh, one and a half cups of apple juice. And this should infuse into the ribs. And the reason we have apple juice or we have any kind of, uh, any, any liquid, you have to use your with your uh, pressure cooker, you have to use some form of liquid. And basically what it does, it produces the steam and that's what makes the thing go under pressure. But uh, anyway, guys, this is going to, like I said, this is going to be a piece of cake, and these are delicious, guys. So what, what I'm merely going to do is just take my ribs and get them down in, into my, my pot here. My new stainless pot for this thing, guys. I'm loving this. And I'm merely just going to take uh, my apple juice and just pour it on in. How simple is this, guys? This is going to be like the easiest ribs known to man. But... Uh, all right, guys, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lid here. I'm gonna get it on. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to pull it over to airtight. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cook these about, roughly about 50 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just run this up to 50 minutes. And there we go. We got the P with the flashing 50. Once the flashing uh, stops, we're gonna have the double zeros. Once the double zero stop, we're gonna be under pressure. And we're gonna get back to you in just a bit. And I'm here to tell you, I can't wait to try these, guys. All right, y'all, we'll holler at you in just a bit. All right, guys, we're at the two-minute warning. We are at the two-minute warning. Ribs will be ready in just a bit. All right, guys, we got less than a minute on our rib cook here, our 50-minute rib cook, and then we're going to get them over to the uh, to the oven and broil them a little bit with some barbecue sauce. All right, sauce. guys, we got the double sixes here, and uh, we're ready to vent this thing off. All right, guys, like I said, these things ain't like your grandma's. These are new and very well improved and uh, they're pretty safe and simple to cook with. But let's go ahead and vent it. All right guys. All right guys, we've safely vented off our ribs. Let's go ahead and get the top off. You want to be careful with this. There should be a bunch of steam in here. Oh yeah. Peek at them bad boys. All right, guys, let me uh, try to get these out of here and get them on our rack here. And guys, I don't use any special oven mitts or any of those like uh, those serious gloves that you buy off Amazon for barbecue. I just simply use some Jersey gloves, some cotton Jersey gloves, and some just some nitro gloves. And it did make it, they're perfect. You know this is hot and I don't even feel it. Look at that. All right, guys. Let me get the sauce. Okay, guys, we got our St. Louis style ribs uh, pulled out of our elite pressure cooker here that we infused with uh, some apple juice and just a little bit of pepper, guys. And what I want to do is go ahead and take some of that King Hawaiian's there barbecue sauce, light roasted Kona, and get it on here. And we're gonna get them over to the broiler. 
I'm here to tell you guys, this is some thick, rich sauce. Very thick. Piece of cake, guys. Ribs in less than an hour. Ribs in less than an hour. And they're going to be fall off the bone tender yumminess. I'm here to tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, y'all have got to try some of this uh, King Hawaiians. It gets the Fritz seal of approval. All right, guys. All right, guys, we got the broiler on high. And I'm not walking away from this. I'm going to stand right here and watch these bad boys. There it goes. Okay, that's the point I was telling you about right here, guys. This is where it will start burning. So what I'm going to do is I guess all that sugar is in there is starting to bubble up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull them right this second. All right, guys. Look at that, y'all. Is that not a beautiful fight? Mmm. Mmm. got our Sunday night feast over to the table are fast and quick ribs. I cooked some ribs that are fall off the bone in less than an hour. We cooked them for 50 minutes in the elite pressure cooker and then approximately like five minutes under the broiler. So you're looking at 55 minutes to some down home delicious goodness right there guys. Along with that we're gonna have a little bit of tater salad and some Walmart coleslaw which is my favorite now and we're gonna have a little bit of extra King's wine barbecue sauce. The light roasted Kona coffee and we got us a couple of uh, uh, croissant rolls crescent rolls all right guys all right guys we're all plated up here we got our uh, barbecue uh, ribs that we did up in the elite pressure cooker with a little bit of that new Kings Hawaiian Kona coffee uh, barbecue sauce got some Walmart slaw got some dockered up tater salad and got a crescent roll I think we're good to go we're gonna let uh, we got mom plated up over here. Let, let's let mom get a, a real quick bite off this and see what it's all about. Mm. Wow. Is it good? Better than good. Yeah, they're melting your mouth, ain't they? Oh, yeah. I could hardly get them cut. But can you taste a little bit of apple yeah. apple juice in there? And yeah. what do you think about that new King's Hawaiian oh, bark? It is. It's, it's rich. It's as good as the other one. Yeah. Now I kind of like the other one because it had like a little a little bit of heat to it. But I know you don't really like the heat, but that wasn't too hot for you, was it? No. But uh, no, this is like rich and bold. Look at this, guys. I'm going to make a mess here. Mmm. That is out of sight. It sure is. Steak's alive. Mm. <laughs> oh my 
God, man. I can't believe how easy that was. And look, we're on the table in less than an hour. Mm -hmm. It's too hot outside. Damn near 95 degrees up there. Mm -hmm. Try some of Mama's doctored up tater salad. Now I'm here to tell you guys, if you're, you know, if you're kind of in a pinch for time, and some of the potato salad's kind of bland, but I'll bring it home. Mom will put like just a little bit of dill in there, some extra onions, maybe a little bit of Dijon. Uh, Dijon and her secret is putting sour cream in it. And it's really, really good. It tastes pretty daggone close to your grandma's homemade tater salad. I just think the extra onions and dill just gives it a big punch. Mm. And the Walmart slaw. I don't want to upset any of my Kentucky brethren, but I like it better than uh, KFC coleslaw. I really do. Mm. When I get these crescents at uh, Costco, mom loves them. Mm. Well guys, I could sit here and mow all this down right in front of you, but I'm not going to. Let me get one more bite. Mm. Oh my God in heaven. Well guys, I wanted to say yet again, thank you so very, very much for stopping by and visiting with me over on my Sunday cooks. It means the world to me. And like I said, a lot of times during the week when I'm posting stuff, I don't really have time to comment back to anybody. And, it just is one of my biggest pet peeves just to go, thanks for watching. I mean, that's it. to me, that's sorry. But uh, to each his own. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry, but it's just not in my nature. So, but anyway, guys, just want to say thank you so very, very much. And I reckon we're going to holler at y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.